Hopefully helpful. Learn, implement, win. Episode 4, Using the Jammer. The jammer is a piece of equipment with two main functions, blocking out the enemy's radar and disabling enemy equipment. Whenever a camera spike, C4, claymore, or motion sensor is within the range of a deployed jammer, they are disabled indefinitely until the jammer is either destroyed or picked up. As you can see, the C4 doesn't work properly when it is being affected by the jammer, and the camera spike is also affected in the same way, it is completely disabled and rendered useless when affected by the jammer. The claymore is like the C4, when affected by the jammer, it will not detonate in the shot, so any enemy walking in front of it will not detonate it, it will just sit there and be a dud. Uh, the second the jammer is lifted or destroyed, the claymore goes back to its normal self and will detonate properly. The motion sensor is like the camera spike, when it is affected by the jammer, it is just completely disabled and will not even show up on the map. Whereas the tactical insertion and other jammers are not affected by the jammer at all. The disabling effects are exactly like when a concussion grenade or a flash grenade goes off by any equipment. Like most of the equipment in this game, the sentry gun and SAM turret are also disabled by the jammer, making this a uh, very effective piece of equipment which can be useful in many many situations. And since the jammer has a huge range, you can disable equipment easily from a safe distance and keep it disabled until you can destroy it or just keep it disabled indefinitely. Since the jammer blocks out the enemy's radar when they are close, it is by far one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, piece of equipment since the only real counter to it is hacker, whereas the other pieces of equipment have hacker and the jammer as a counter. Concussion and flash grenades can also be considered a counter to equipment, but it's more of a situational thing than anything else. As you can see on the map, I have the jammer placed near the B flag in the middle of the map, so anyone near or around the flag will at least be having the radar slightly scrambled, so it gives us the advantage on them. And as you can see here, I'm going to chase these two guys down the alleyway, and I actually run out of ammo, so I switch to the pistol, and I turn the corner, and bam, there's a uh, claymore waiting for me. But as you can see on the map, it's right within my jammer's range, so the claymore's disabled and it saves my life. So I'm able to chase the guy down and get the kill. When I'm using the jammer, I like to keep it in high traffic areas, or areas around the objective, and or places where I know the enemy is going to have equipment and I can disable it. So that's why I like using it in conjunction with hacker. For example, if I see that someone is held up in a building with a claymore guarding the door, I can put down a jammer to disable the claymore, and then go in and kill the guy. Another advantage of the jammer is its extremely large range. When an enemy is within the outer ring of the jammer, it really doesn't affect the radar, but it will still disable the equipment, and so you can cover very large areas with one jammer, where the enemy equipment just will not work at all. So if you're running the jammer and you see an enemy piece of equipment or say a sentry gun, make sure to put it down as soon as possible because you never know what can happen in a couple seconds and you can easily save a teammate's life if you have the enemy equipment disabled. And as you can see here, I put a jammer down to disable the enemy sentry gun, throw a Semtex in to kill it, and help my team out. Bam, said the lady.